thorax, pneumothorax. So air can enter the chest cavity through a puncture in the chest wall. We kind of talked about that already. That's an open chest uh, wound. So this, this is just giving you a better uh, visual of what we're talking about as far as uh, air entering the chest cavity and um, causing a tension in the thorax. So what happens with the open chest wound is that air just continues to come in here and come in here. And this right here represents your lung. And so we want the air obviously to be inside the lungs, which comes in through this pathway. And if air comes in through the outside, um, through your chest wall, then it's going to it's going to affect your respiratory system negatively, obviously, because it's going to collapse this lung. See, no more thorax. So uh, again, this makes sense because if there is tension on the, I'm <clears throat> sorry, there's tension on your lung from this puncture wound, then your lung on the affected side is not gonna be able to expand and contract adequately, you know, during respiration. So because of that, because of the, of the pressure, you're gonna have absent lungs or diminished lung sounds, meaning that the patient is, is <clears throat> barely breathing or not breathing at all, pretty much, that's what that means. Uh, hemothorax, we talked about this already. Now, if you wanna get the actual definition, I'll give you guys a few seconds um, and just write these down, but we already talked about it. <clears throat> All right. Does anyone need more time? Nope. All right. So, uh, just some more visuals. So, this right here uh, represents a pneumothorax, meaning that there's only air that's causing the pressure to collapse this, collapse this lung. Uh, this would be a hemothorax. The red is, represents blood, and that's causing the collapse and the pressure on the lung. And the very last one is a hemoneumothorax, meaning that blood, air, and the thoracic cavity. It's a combination of both. <clears throat> so traumatic asphyxia is just when there's uh, a lot of force that compresses down on the thoracic cavity so much that it's just gonna cause you to asphyxiate um, pretty much rapidly. Sudden compression of chest forcing blood out of the organs and ruptured, rupturing blood vessels. Um, that would be when something completely just crushes the chest though. That's what it's talking about. The neck and face are gonna be dark in color because of all that blood that's being backed up into the face. So that's why you get that, that, uh, that change in color. Uh, of course, if you have, uh, if something compresses down on the chest, the thoracic cavity, that's gonna cause pressure above and below that area. So once that compression occurs, as that compression is occurring, uh, fluid is being pushed down onto your abdomen and up onto your head, which would cause the eyes to bulge, have distended veins, <clears throat> and the broken ve uh, blood vessels in the face. So that's what's causing all that stuff to uh, happen. Cardiac tamponade. Uh, I talked about cardiac tamponade already, and but this is what's actually going on. If you actually want to write this down, like I said, cardiac tamponade is when that pericardial sac that surrounds the heart, whenever there's a fluid. Uh, most likely blood, obviously, blood between the pericardial sac itself and the outside of the heart. And that's going to create pressure on the heart and not allow it to contract adequately. So here's the definition <clears throat> of cardiac tamponade. I'm going to give you guys, of course, a few seconds to write this down because it's, it's pretty important that you guys know the definition and what it actually is. And I think I have a video. So after this slide or the following slide, I'll show the YouTube video of that. Thank <clears throat> you. 